Welcome to the 14th edition of the Biopharm and Healthcare Summit. We miss you. This is a unique uh, situation. Uh, we wished we could have met you, met you face to face, but I guess this is the situation. First of all, I want to like, thank all of our sponsors. Without them, this would not have been possible, uh, especially Biogen, Takeda, Merck, Acorn Metadata, Bayer, Jensen, Jubilant Life Sciences, EMD Serrano, Alexion, and CRISPR. Thank you all the, the, so much for all the help you have given us over there. We are all going through unprecedented times. Every nation, rich or poor, has faced human suffering, loss of life, and economic hardship due to COVID-19 pandemic. And we feel that this is a global health crisis which requires global solution. We've been saying for years now, disease has no boundaries, no nationality, no color, no religion. This is a global problem and we think we need a global solution. Uh, it's tough for all of us, but we need to stay positive and motivated. And we are very confident that, you know, the extensive efforts of all of our colleagues, which have been working worldwide, either for the vaccines or for the therapeutics, which should be safe and have good efficacy, will yield results and hopefully we will have some solution very soon. Till that folks, hang in there, life will be okay soon. Very important fact, you know, which we've been discussing for all this, you know, a uh, couple of weeks and months has been uh, whatever comes up, I think the excess and the portability is very important. Uh, vaccines or therapeutics should go to folks who need them. It should not be based on who is rich or who is poor over there. We have a great group of leaders in the summit today from all over the world. Uh, I'm confident good ideas, good strategies will emerge. What we discussed today will positively impact patients worldwide. Coming to India, it's a great opportunity too for India in the current situation to play a critical role in the biopharma R&D and manufacturing in the current scenario. We have global leaders in this group today, and we have also the key policymakers and industry leaders from India. I also hope that good ideas will emerge between this discussion and it will be helpful for the patients worldwide and for patients in India. In this group today, some of them and many of and my colleagues have been impacted or affected personally by the COVID. They are okay now and we wish them, you know, speedy recovery. It's really overwhelming that they're still able to participate in this meeting and be there, you know, with us. You may have noticed that calls, uh, the uh, panels are uh, 40 minutes short, and it's important that, you know, to know that uh, the folks in the room have spent more time okay. actually uh, preparing for this uh, panels than for the 40 minute uh, over there. I want to thank our advisory board members and all of you, you know, for your uh, active uh, support. I would say stay safe and healthy till we get a vaccine. We are also very privileged and honored to have Andy Plum. Uh, Andy has been, uh, you know, a solid, rock solid supporter. He's a true believer and a very committed individual for, you know, for this group and for the patients. And he believes in it over there. This would be his fifth year as an EMC. And I must tell you, like I've been telling you for years now, it's not an easy task. It's a lot of time commitment, uh, but he is the one who is always a phone call away. He will never say no. So really want to thank him and please welcome Andy Plum. 